10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. We're at T plus 30 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and we're carrying the Amazonas Nexus payload on board. Now we've begun tilting the engine, that's called gimbling, and we've begun to turn the rocket horizontally away from Power the Power and telemetry pad. nominal. That is called a gravity turn. And we're still going up, but we're also heading away horizontally from the launch pad. We just throttled down the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for our next event. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle, point of highest stresses during ascent. Max Q. So with that, we are through the point of highest stresses on Falcon 9. Now the next major milestone will be coming up at around the T plus two minute and 30 mark. That'll be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then seek out. And back engine chill. Excuse me, and second engine start number one. Now, I talked a little bit earlier about the gravity turn. Part of the reason why we do that maneuver is to pick up velocity. A rocket has to go about 17,500 miles an hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth. And that's why these next three events are pretty important. Miko is where we shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for stage separation. That's where the first and second stages will separate. And then we'll start up that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage for second engine start number one. It's ultimately the Merlin vacuum uh, and the second stage that will carry the Amazonas Nexus satellite into orbit around our planet. So again, those three events coming up in just under 10 seconds. Main engine cut off. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Great views. On the left-hand side of your screen, we're looking up through the inner stage at the second stage. And we've got a view here on the right-hand side of our screen of the Merlin vacuum engine starting its burn. This burn will continue about until the T plus eight minute mark. Next major milestone will be fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Great views from the top of the second stage. You can see that the fairings have separated. Once again, we'll be attempting to recover these fairing halves for use on a future mission with a recovery vessel named Bob. Stage one landing burn. See that stage one landing burn has begun, and in just a couple of seconds here, we will shut down the MVAC engine on our second stage. MVAC shut down. There you have it. Now we're just, just awaiting confirmation of nominal orbital insertion for the second stage. Nominal orbit insertion. Good call outs there. <laughs> and hopefully you heard it through the cheers in the background. Loss of signal, Cape Canaveral. That landing marks SpaceX's 170th recovery of an orbital class rocket. Payload separation confirmed. And there is a great shot from the top of the second stage, watching the Amazonas Nexus satellite continue on with the rest of its mission. But that is going to end our webcast coverage for today.